What's up guys? It's Rachel Sandler, professional voice teacher, back with another voice teacher reaction video. For my last video, I reacted to four incredible singers singing She Used to Be Mine, including Sarah Bareilles herself, who wrote the song. And I had so many comments asking me to react to other singers singing the same songs. There are so many amazing renditions of this one. So I figured I would do another compilation for you guys, starting with Ben Platt. So here we go with the reaction. It's not simple to say that most days I don't recognize me. His shoes and this apron, that place and its patrons have taken more than I gave them. It's not easy to know I'm not anything like I used to be all oh, it's true. I was never attention sweet center, but I still remember that girl. Ugh, I just love Ben Platt's voice is so effortless. And he has a couple times where he does a little flip up to the top of his, I guess, a mixy kind of range. And it's just beautiful. She's imperfect, but she tries. Now some nice falsetto. She is good, but she lies. She is hard on herself She is broken but won't ask for help He's being really stylistic with his choice of when to use falsetto. He did one phrase in a full chest belt, everything else in falsetto, occasionally even using a little yodel technique so that you purposely hear the voice crack. She is messy but she's kind She is loved most of the time she is all of this mixed up and baked in a beautiful pie she is gone but she used to be mine oh i wish there was more this is from instagram so i think you probably could only keep it to a minute or so Oh, so gorgeous, and I really love the riffs, and I love how raw it is, just him at the piano. I just think this is a beautiful rendition. All right, guys, so now moving on to our next video, which is going to be Jeremy Jordan. So here we go with that one. Different key. It's not simple. Say the most days I don't recognize me at these shoes and this apron, this place and its patrons have taken more than I gave them. I love how his diction is so crisp for the P of patrons, it was so plosive that you actually heard the pop in the microphone. It's not easy. I'm not anything like I used to be, although it's true. I was never attention sweet center. I still remember that girl. She's imperfect, but she tries. She is good, but she lies. I love that this is so light that we're not even certain if he's going to hit the note. There was one note that kind of squeaked its way out. It is just a really beautiful way of using the voice, especially since Jeremy Jordan does have the capability to do such a large belt. I love when amazing singers like this reel it in so much that you don't really even get a lot of tone because then later in the song when you know inevitably they're going to let it all out, we get a really big contrast. She's hard on herself. She is broken and won't ask for help. She is messy, but she's kind. She is lonely. Most of the time, she is all of this mixed up and baked in a beautiful pie. She is. She used to be mine. 
and a really, really nice use of falsetto there at the end. I liked when he said the word beautiful, that he almost used a mixed vowel. So that's an E mixed with an U, so you get E, an U vowel. We don't actually use it in English. Um, it's it's much more common in other languages, but it's it's kind of a nice technique if it fits with the accent that you're trying to sing in. Um, it is a very, very bright right and forward sound because you get to utilize the brightness of an e but the backspace of an oo and when you put those together you just get a really yummy sound and i really like that he used that there and it's not what i asked for sometimes life oh it slips in through the back door and carves out a person that makes you believe it's all true Jeremy Jordan's signature, that man is really hard on his R's, carves out a person. He's really, really, he's just in there with the R's. It's like the back of his tongue is like hitting the roof of his mouth and we're getting a really strong R sound. Most singers, I don't really like that on. I don't teach that, um, but it definitely is, it's kind of a Jeremy Jordan signature. And when he does it, I'm like, all right, yeah, do whatever you want. <laughs> Now I've got you You're not what I asked for If I'm honest, I know I would give it all back For a chance to start over And rewrite an ending or two For that girl that I knew Would be reckless just I like how he's slightly altering the melody. This is such a popular song. When a singer can slightly mess with it just a little bit, it gives it that little bit of interest that we're not quite expecting. Who'd get hurt? Hope to learn how to tough it up and she's bruised and gets used by a man who can love. Oh, and then she'll be stuck and be scared. to check out what that note is so it's an a in newsies i think he sings b i like i know that he has more belt above this it's it's so crazy to me because a is definitely getting up there for a tenor belt it's not the highest note for for a standard especially like contemporary musical theater guy tenor belting on broadway um a, like you need an a um but what's just so amazing to me is how effortless that feels and it, he's not creating any excess tension in order to make that happen it just kind of pours out of him it feels like it's really in a sweet spot oh, she is messy but she's kind she is lonely most of the time she's all of this mixed up babe she is gone but she used to be my wow absolutely beautiful rendition by jeremy jordan of course i am not surprised in the slightest all right so now for something a little bit different a non-musical theater singer um i'm going to have mercedes ferreira diaz um this was her performance from the voice back in 2018. it's not simple to say most days i don't recognize me though it's true i was never attention sweet sinner oh, yeah. i still remember that girl she's imperfect but she 
Wow, talk about a beautiful, effortless voice. And I love, this song is kind of an interesting one because it was written by a pop singer for a musical. So you end up getting a lot of singers from different genres covering it. Um, and it's very different interpretation when you have a pop singer versus a musical theater singer. And the type of story that they tell, um, a musical theater singer could potentially, depending on the context, be thinking more in line of the plot of the musical versus a pop singer maybe making it more personal to themselves, just depending on the context. Once again, like I don't necessarily think that Ben Platt or Jeremy Jordan or maybe Jeremy, but I don't think Ben Blatt was necessarily thinking about the musical. He just did a beautiful interpretation of the song. But I really like when a pop singer comes on and does their own um, interpretation of a song like this. And her voice is just so soulful, and it really falls nicely in line with uh, with what's going on in the lyrics. And be scared of the life that's inside her growing stronger each day. It's, this is going to be a weird thing I'm about to say, but her belt is very soothing. Like, it's not a belt that we're sometimes used to hearing from more popular style, style singers where it can be very in your face and very powerful. Mercedes' belt, it is powerful, but there's something in the tone that is just gorgeous and and soothing like I it's like I hear all the power and I hear all the volume but there's something a little bit subdued about it that I just love That's been fun, but it used to be Wow, so beautiful mix belt there coming down and as she comes down she's lightening it up and then ends with a riff. She <laughs> Better not do it, he says. <laughs> That makes me so happy when they turn around. Ugh, I'm the I'm the worst. I get so emotional at at these kinds of these kinds of shows because it's just taking your normal everyday person who is really not that normal and every day because they're so incredibly talented but somebody who maybe doesn't have that much of a following yet and then these mega celebrities recognize their talent and want to pick them up. I just I just think that shows like the voice are amazing for that reason and really any any show where you get to sing on tv because it gives these amazing singers like mercedes this platform to share their talent and this video has been viewed millions of times um over the internet so it's just amazing what this sort of platform and she totally deserves it she is incredible all right guys so for the last one um i'm going to do another recommendation which was the Allison Luff version that she did for Broadway.com. So here we go with that one. I just love this series. I think it's so well done. It's not simple to say that most days I don't recognize me That these shoes and this apron That place and its patrons Have taken more than I gave them Wow, okay, so beautiful tone, absolutely stunning 
what I notice right away just from a storytelling perspective she's taking a little bit different of an angle than a lot of others uh, musical theater singers that I've seen do this she almost seems to have a little bit of bitterness or anger behind it and not saying that other singers haven't had that in the past but hers is a little more outward and it's a little more specific of a choice and I really like that in line with that she's not really choosing to do any vibrato at least no long phrases yet she's keeping this very speech like almost as if she's monologuing it's not easy to know i'm not anything like i used to be although it's true i was never attention sweet center i still remember that girl There's something so special when a singer really emphasizes a word and just makes that diction so clean. It really draws the audience into the story. I want you to do sweet center. Then I really was, I was in it with her. She's imperfect, but she tries. She is good, but she lies. She is hard on herself. She is broken and won't ask for help. What is incredible to me is how in tune she is on those higher sustained notes in a mix with no vibrato. That is that is not easy. She is messy, but she's kind. She is lonely most of the time. She is all of this mixed up and baked in a beautiful pie. She is gone, but she used to be mine. Seriously, straight tone on every single high note. And it's so in tune, I don't even care. It's so good. It's not what I asked for. Sometimes life it just slips in through a back door and carves out a person and makes you believe it's all true. Now I've got you. And you're not what I asked. Before we start to get into a little more of the climax, we're halfway through the second verse now, and she still hasn't really let her voice out. She's really taking her time, and I love it because it draws me into the story because not only am I already, I'm already listening to the words if somebody has nice diction, but because she's not, hasn't let anything go yet, I'm listening even more closely because I'm like, when's she gonna, when's she gonna open up? If I'm honest, I know I would give it all back for a chance to start over and rewrite an ending or two. For the girl that I knew who was reckless just enough, who gets hurt, but who learns how to toughen up. When she's bruised and gets used by a man who can't love, and then she'll get stuck. So she's letting it out now, and wow, what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful voice! Insanely gorgeous. Um, still no vibrato. I'm waiting. <laughs> Okay, that was really cool what she did there because she didn't she didn't actually belt the top. She did a little yodel up and made the top note lighter. I think Jeremy Jordan did that too. Very, very cool. To fight just a little to bring
on the low notes, yes, like it's there, it's in her, but nothing on the high notes. And it's it's so captivating. Like it, nobody does that. Nobody does that. She is messy. But she's kind. She is Molly. Most of the time, she is all of this mixed up and baked in a beautiful pie. She is gone, but. She used to be mine. Wow. Wow. That was so cool. Um, I'm a big fan of that cover. It, it's like, the, I, I would love to hear her explain why she makes some of the choices that she does in this. Like, I really want to know her, her character's backstory. Not just the character from Waitress, but like what she has chosen her subtext to be because... Her use of straight tone on every single high note was 100% intentional, and it was gorgeous, and there was something about it that just drew me in. I mean, I think Broadway.com has had at least four or five, maybe more people sing this song on the series, which is very interesting to me because out of, I don't know how many videos there are, but maybe 100 videos, the fact that six or seven of them are of this song. I wonder what the reasoning behind that is, but this was one of the most highly viewed of all of those, if not the most. I would have to go back and look, but what an incredibly captivating performance, just so different, and that's really hard to do when everyone and their mom is singing She Used to Be Mine, so... All right, guys, that's about all I've got for today's reaction. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you do, as always, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Um, you can also check me out on Facebook, TikTok, as long as TikTok is around, RIP TikTok, and uh, Instagram, all at Rachel Sandler Music. You can also check out my podcast, Aspiring Artist Podcast, at aspiringartistpodcast.com. I interview all sorts of creative people. It is a ton of fun. And that is about all I've got for today, guys. So I will catch you at the next one. Bye. Bye.